Our friend Nadia Bilchik is joining us this morning for our passport. Why would an architect plan a 65-story building that goes nearly a thousand feet into the ground? That is the burning question. That Nadia. is the burning question. Stepan Suarez is a Mexican architect, and what he did was he looked at this particular square in Mexico, known as Zocalo Square, which is this historic square, and it's so dense, and there's no more space for any buildings anywhere. So he and his company came up the plan. They said the only solution for this is let's build down. But he's being very ambitious because he's not only saying let's build down, he says let's build down by 55 stories. Now what you're seeing is the inverted pyramid with steel and glass and the idea of the inverted pyramid is to bring light into the building. He wants the first 10 floors to be a museum in honor of Mexican history and the Aztecs. Then the next 20 floors are going to be residential, and then you're going to have commercial and office space. So it's going to be very interesting whether it ever happens or not. It'll cost around $800 million. Holy cow. Now, is this something we could expect to see in other parts of the world? Well, it could. I mean, what happens when there's just density and no more space to build up? Let's build down. I think he's being rather ambitious in the 55 floors. I mean, if you go to New York and you see the Apple store, it goes down. Right, right. But it's not quite 55 floors. Right. But the idea is to live, to work, to have a space. They're going to have this kind of centrifugal lighting that happens with fiber optics. It's very fancy. I spoke to Stepan Suarez, and if you take a look at the pictures, what they want it to be is one of those work, play, live spaces. And again, in this particular area, but what I do need to stress is this is a specific solution to a specific problem. He's not saying let's build down everywhere in the world. He's saying just in Zocalo Square, which is home to the National Cathedral in Mexico and is one of the most sought after spaces. You're taking a look at the square now. Right. And there's no more space. And you can only build up to eight stories there anyway. So he says, we're solving a problem. He's very passionate. I said to him, come on, do you think this is ever really going to happen? He said, yes, what other solution do we have? I mean, I think people would feel claustrophobic being so far underground. Well, that is I've a been problem. In a I've been in a coal mine. Yes, okay? and? It's the most claustrophobic feeling I've ever had. You and, know, but you, this just would just be knowing it. you're underground. Exactly, but the idea behind this is the fiber optic lighting is going to give it Correct. an enormous amount of light. He's right. also suggesting eco-friendly environment with all kinds of trees. So they have a grand vision. Whether the grand vision is realized or not, the Mexican mayor has not met with them at this point. But the idea is an interesting one and certainly will be fascinating to see if something like this ever happens. One final thing. How did you find out about this? This is fascinating. I, mean, I haven't heard a thing about this. This is really something. Well, interestingly enough, Stepan Suarez, who is the architect, is one of my Facebook friends. Huh. And we became friends on Facebook and he told me about this project. And when I spoke to him, I was amazed at how lucid and rational he sounded about this project. <laughs> so thank great. you, Facebook Nadia, and Stevan Suarez. Nadia, that's <laughs> fascinating. Thank you very much.